Hey, what is good, health conscious people of the interwebs? I'm going to be starting a series on electrolytes. I'm going to be going in depth on each of these important minerals for our body. They'll include sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphate, chloride, and bicarbonate. This video is going to focus on potassium. I want to start with that one because this seems to be the electrolyte that most people get deficient in pretty easily. Um, I'm going to go over why that is and why it's a problem for our health and how we can fix that deficiency and hopefully health problems that have stemmed from that. Many common chronic illnesses are related to potassium deficiency, uh, like hypertension, stroke, osteoporosis, kidney stones, etc. I will touch on potassium supplements and the issues that people have with those as well. First off, what is an electrolyte and why are they so important? They are essentially particles that carry a positive or negative electric charge. When these minerals dissolve into fluids, then they become positive or negative ions that are used in metabolic processes. Our body needs them for proper nerve and muscle functions, staying hydrated and maintaining our pH balance. Like with many other minerals, our body needs the correct ratio of electrolytes. This is especially important when it comes to potassium and sodium. We should be shooting for a sodium to potassium ratio of one to two. Many people have a ratio of more like three to two. According to the CDC, the average American gets twice the recommended intake of sodium, while less than one in 50 people meet the recommended intake of potassium. In other words, 98% of people in America are deficient in potassium. So while the mainstream health media is so focused on lowering sodium intake, it would be just as important to emphasize raising potassium intake. Sodium isn't the bad guy. It is a vitally important mineral. It only becomes a problem when the other electrolytes are lacking, especially potassium. The higher the sodium to potassium ratio, the greater chances of dying from cardiovascular disease, a heart attack, or for any reason at all. In general, high blood pressure is a result of low potassium. What's worse is that one class of blood pressure medications are diuretics, which could be causing an even bigger potassium deficiency. The main reasons for this imbalance in today's diets is the high consumption of processed foods. These foods have to have high amounts of sodium in them to have long enough shelf lives and preservatives. And then many of the high potassium rich foods are foods that have also been demonized by the mainstream media. These would be things like beef, potatoes, orange juice, and that's just mainly because they contain saturated fat or sugars, you know, they're carbs, so they're bad. Um, that's another topic for another time. So what about potassium supplements? Well, good luck with that. This is probably the first video and maybe the only video that I will ever do where I don't promote a single supplement. The FDA limits the dose of these supplements to 99 milligrams. The recommended daily intake of potassium is 4,700 milligrams. So unless you want to be taking 40 pills a day or whatever, which don't recommend doing. This is really a supplement that's pretty much worthless. Um, the supplement can also be much less bioavailable than it would be in food. And so you may be wasting your money anyway. And then it could be potentially harming your electrolyte balance with this. So getting it from foods is really the only way to go. Now I know what some of you are thinking what kind of funky gross foods am I going to have to stuff down now? In the case of potassium, it's surprisingly easy on the taste buds and the wallet. There are two things that I absolutely love and there are core foods in my diet. Number one is potatoes. A medium sized potato will yield roughly 850 milligrams of potassium. The nice thing here is that you can pre prepare it any way that you like. Um, so for me, I like mashed potatoes, and that's how I make them. 
Um, but for you, baked potato, make your own homemade french fries, whatever you want to do, you know. Uh, the number two is coconut water. I've tried many a coconut water in my day, and there are really only two brands that taste good to me. I think they taste amazing, actually. The first is Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. Just one 14 ounce bottle gives you about 950 milligrams of potassium, or 20% of your daily recommended intake. This coconut water is not heat pasteurized either, and it's actually pink in color. That's because of the antioxidant content that it has. There are absolutely no additives in it at all. So this would probably be my favorite coconut water. Uh, but there is another brand called Taste Nirvana, and a 16 ounce can of this has 800 milligrams of potassium. These two brands taste the best by far compared to everything else. Other foods that I really like to get potassium in are from spinach, orange juice, and of course red meats. Uh, there are many other foods that you can easily find searching the web. Um, they're not too hard to get a hold of either. Um, the other thing that you need to consider when trying to get enough potassium and all the other electrolytes for that matter is your phytic acid foods. Uh, if you eat phytic acid foods while you're eating your potassium rich foods, you are probably not going to absorb much of that potassium. Uh, phytic acid impairs the absorption of minerals. And these would be foods like beans and like oatmeal and other grains, most nuts. Uh, this kind of stuff you should eat by themselves, like within, you know, make like a two, three hour window where you don't eat your potassium foods with these foods. So the whole main point of this video is getting sufficient potassium. And it's really not that hard to do. Many chronic illnesses today stem from potassium deficiency. It's an easy fix that can benefit the health of roughly 98% of the population. So if this video was helpful to you, hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of the content coming in the future. Thank you for watching.